Hi, it's James Taylor here. Are we entering a new creative age? Chances are you've probably already heard about some of the different ways in which artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and machine learning are changing how we live and work. Now, change can be both scary and exciting at the same time. Change brings both dangers, but also opportunities. Indeed, a recent report by McKinsey and Company forecasts that nearly half of all work we do today is going to be automated by 2055. And within the next 10 years, automation technology will take over tasks currently being performed by 250 million knowledge work workers worldwide. Now, we are going to undergo what is sometimes referred to as a period of creative destruction. Today, four out of five senior executives fear that new technologies will make their businesses obsolete. Now, this also presents an opportunity. More people than ever before will be freed from doing routine tasks so that they can devote their time and energy to more creative projects and pursuits. I believe that the kind of exponential technology we are seeing is ushering in a new creative age, but it requires that we invest and develop that most human of skills, namely our creativity. But here's the problem. When I speak at global conferences, most people tell me that they recognize creativity as an essential skill in their business. Yet when I ask audiences to raise their hands if they believe themselves to be creative, the majority of people in the room don't raise their hands. Indeed, studies have shown that 60% of people do not consider themselves creative. So they do not believe that they possess the one skill that will allow them to compete and thrive in this new creative age. That's a problem. But it gets worse. Only a tiny fraction of companies and organizations are investing in creativity skills training for their people. They're not reskilling their workforce at this critical point in history. The ones that are developing a creative culture, providing creativity skills training, and putting in place processes for innovation will thrive in this new creative age. They'll be able to use the new technologies to augment the creative minds of their people. So if you're a leader or a manager, ask yourself this question. How are you equipping your organization and your people for this new creative age? How are you ensuring that you will still be relevant? Thanks for watching. Hi, it's James here. Did you enjoy that episode? If so, there's two things that we can do to continue the journey together. Firstly, I would love if you were to subscribe, give us five stars and leave a comment. Secondly, if you go to jamestaylor.me and enter your name and email address, I'm going to send you some free goodies all around creativity and innovation. Look forward to continuing the journey together.